Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, dwyervip.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Now, in the kind of shocking story that really can only take place in the world of boxing, the cruiserweight title fight between Guillermo Jones and Denis Lebedev is off, according to reports, because incredibly, Guillermo Jones, for the second fight in a row against Lebedev, has failed a drug test for Lasix, otherwise known as furosemide. It's a powerful diuretic that is often given to patients who have heart problems to remove excess fluids from their bodies. It's also given to horses, if you could believe this, involved in horse racing to reduce bleeding in the horse's lungs. It's illegal in boxing because boxing is a sport that operates pursuant to weight classes and you aren't allowed to take diuretics in order to artificially lower your weight for the weigh-in. Let me also point out too that water is a very important part of the human body. You don't want to go into an athletic contest, particularly a physically demanding one like boxing with substances in your body that reduce your ability to retain water. Understand the other man in the ring with you, your opponent, right, is trying to hurt you physically, right? Boxing's the one sport where we tolerate opponents trying to give their opponent concussions, right? We call them knockouts. So, after Guillermo Jones incredibly failed the drug test for this fight, and keep in mind, Jones came in two hours late for the weigh-in. Apparently, the sanctioning body, the WBA, told the fighters that they would have to exonerate the WBA from any responsibility for any injury caused in the fight. Because keep in mind, it's dangerous for both men. Guillermo Jones, because he's artificially cut weight and because his body can't retain water, right, the way it normally would, and of course his opponent, who would be fighting a guy who really isn't in the weight class, who has only artificially made weight by cutting his body warp. Apparently the uh, camps then spoke, couldn't reach an agreement on the circumstances under which this fight would go forward. It's a shame, right? In my opinion, Guillermo Jones, if in fact both the A sample and the B sample comes back positive for this powerful illegal diuretic in this context should be banned from the sport, really effectively ending his career. He's 41 years old now. He's not in shape today, the day of the fight, right? I believe this guy, quite frankly, should be treated like other fighters have been treated who, quite frankly, have been repeat violators of boxing's rules. Right? At a minimum, Guillermo Jones should get at least a year ban. At a minimum. Understand, six months doesn't do much because it often takes six months just to promote a fight, negotiate a fight, pick the location, and stuff like that. So a six month ban wouldn't prevent Guillermo Jones from his next fight. You need a ban, in my opinion, of at least a year. And let's get real too. He should be docked in the standings. 
right? This guy, who's already been stripped of his title, shouldn't be in line anytime soon for a shot at any recognized belt, right? Simply put, this is outrageous behavior of the highest order. Let me also point out too that understand well, the Bedev camp had been training for this fight for weeks. Right? You're literally setting back your opponent's camp several months. Understand too, there's several people who rely on these fights for income. Not just Lebedev, but his fighter, his promoter, his sparring partners, his trainer, his cut man right his publicist and so this simply put is an outrage Guillermo Jones in a word is a joke who should not be fighting at this level let me hear from you leave your comments for me here online this is gamblersadvisory.com and let me point out too you had a situation in the sport without naming names where a well-known fighter after a fight said that the referee was corrupt right now this was after showing up for the fight giving an honest day's effort right and losing the fight right in other words this fighter at least showed up in good faith I believe the sport of boxing suspended this guy for several months this infraction is much worse Number one, Guillermo Jones is a repeat offender. He tested positive for this very drug after the first fight against Lebedev. Right, number two, I believe the level of infraction is much worse. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. I have less of a problem with the fighter saying, hey, I didn't like the referee, than I do with the fighter taking drugs that number one as in racehorses might enhance his performance right again it reduces swelling in the lungs bleeding in the lungs for racehorses but number two this drug was clearly intended to give him an unfair advantage to allow him to cut weight more drastically than his opponent would be able to do or than nature would allow right without this banned substance. So I consider this to be completely outrageous. It's even sadder when you realize that the undercard portions of it went forward. So the promoters are on the hook here for a lot of money. There are a lot of paying customers who showed up not just to see the undercard but to see the main event. So I have no sympathy for Guillermo Jones whatsoever. This is an out rage he's robbed the sport of boxing let me hear from you leave your comments for me here online visit us at gamblersadvisory.com thanks for stopping by